Today guys we're going to take a look at the um, AC adapter that works with multiple Nikon cameras but um, in this case it's going to be for my Nikon D850. Now the reason I wanted to get this is for if you're going to do any studio work and you're going to have the uh, camera on for a longer duration of time. Also astrophotography, hooking this up to my telescope doing uh, 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 shots at night and when you have to take you know maybe 30 second one minute exposure and take uh, 50 100 of them at a time to stack then um, it's advantageous obviously to have the AC adapter also very important I talked to Nikon they said if you're going to clean the sensor they highly recommend the uh, you have batteries that are up to par fresh or use the AC adapter reason being you don't want that uh, shutter to close if it loses power so what you get it's two pieces that you have to get. I bought these from B&H and um, this particular piece here which obviously looks like the battery this takes the place of the battery it is the EP-5B and then this is the power connector that allows you to take the battery out of the grip put this in and then this will now connect up with the second part that you're going to need. Obviously the second part is the AC adapter. It is the Nikon EH-5D. It's the AC adapter. It actually comes in two pieces. Um, this particular part, come, it comes apart, the cord, and you plug that in here. And then the opposite end has this connector which connects into your uh, adapter a power connector here so let's take a look at that this is on the end of the EH-5D the AC adapter and you can see it's polarized it's got a slot in here and that slot mates up to a uh, on the other piece it's actually got a uh, what you call it that fits in that slot so you cannot put this on wrong and here you see the power connector and up here on top is where that notch fits into the slot might be hard to see but those are spade terminals in there and the connection is extremely positive it's not loose it's on there very good this piece has a rubberized surface to grip nice and positive you'd really have to pull on that to, to get it apart now if you have the Nikon MB-D18 multi-power battery pack as I do it's got to come off you do get manuals for each item the EP-5B and the EH-5D uh, they're like they remind me of road maps where you gotta pull them apart and they open up you know huge uh, especially this one it, it, it's got you know like 10,000 different languages and but anyways um, you give you some specs they're really not needed this thing goes together very simple I mean you really don't need that the only thing really of interest is the specifications and uh, the operating temperature is stated to be 32 degrees Fahrenheit to 104 degrees Fahrenheit and it says the length of the DC cable is approximately 4.8 feet the length of the power cable is approximately 6 feet so they really do give you a generous on that power 
AC adapter, they do give you a very generous length of cable. You should not run into any issues at all. And this can be seen here in the uh, manual for the power connector, the EP-5B. It gives you the specifications, the cord length 6.7 inches, and that's on the piece that goes obviously into the camera. So let's see how this works. So obviously if you've got the power battery adapter thing, take that off. If not, open up your camera compartment down here. And I was wondering how this cord is going to go through with this closed. But something that this camera has is right here on the side. It's got a thing you just pull back on it. See right there? Pull that back. Then that allows for when the adapter goes in, your cord comes out there, you can close the bottom. So now this can only go in one way. You can't even put it in wrong. So basically, that yellow piece is what kind of holds it in there. Just push back on that. Push it in. See the yellow piece comes out, so it can't come out. And then... What you want to do is just push this down. Well, actually, what I should have, you know what? Here's what I should have done, and I didn't do that. What I should have done was put this in this slot like this, just like that. And then you're also going to notice it's got, it might be hard to see, but it's got a nice cord restraint in here. So this cable, it's got a restraint inside here. So now going back to this, we'll put this in here like that. Now that piece that you pulled down, you can see that's out of the way. Close this. Very cool. And there you are. And so now you can lay this flat on a table and then obviously you've got your access to the tripod socket there if you're going to do that. Or if you're going to put it on a rail, you can put your rail on the bottom. And there's no issue with this cord sticking out. So now that we've got that taken care of, we'll go to our AC adapter. And as I said, it comes in two pieces. This is your power cord. This goes into the, obviously, the out, your outlet. This other end is permanently attached goes into the camera there so what we do is obviously just plug this in like that and we'll plug this other end into an outlet like that and then you'll see that there is a light right here that illuminates let me know that it is getting power cameras turned off then all I've got to do is get this, uh, let me look where that thing's at, like that, we're plugged in, we're now good to go with continuous power, we won't have to worry about batteries running out uh, in the middle of a uh, long shoot, or if you're doing astrophotography, like I said, it could take several hours of pictures. So there we are, top side of the camera, it's off. Let me turn it on, and there you see it. And then, I don't know if I can do this easily. I uh, probably can't. Well, we'll see the top of the camera there. And then, I'll just unplug this. And you can see that it went off. I've got the camera on. Obviously, there's no power, so it went off. Let me plug it back in. Power came back on.
So, very nice item from Nikon. I know they have cheaper ones out there. This is around $150 to get both pieces. I know you can buy them cheaper, other companies. There's certain things that, depending what it is, especially with the, having an electric, go to your camera. I much prefer, and I'm not, I don't know about anything else, but I know there's other manufacturers. I'd rather have the original manufacturer spec item go in, especially when you're talking power source. So that's why I bought the Nikon AC adapter equipment. And here we see the back side of the AC adapter. And then when you're done using the AC adapter, it's a very simple matter of either putting your other batteries in or putting your grip on. And then, I forgot to close this little door there. Close that up. You're good to go using your regular batteries now.